Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome. This is going to be a very special video, a very special man. You know, and I've got my friend here to join me as well. <laughs> <laughs> so this video, what we're going to be doing, inshallah, this man here is the silverback. He's a natural bodybuilder, Muslim bodybuilder, one of the a few pioneers in the industry, I would say. Right. You yeah. know, and uh, he's, he's been very active in in, in so in so doing. What I was going to ask you yeah. is. Basically, what I wanted to present to the people is the following, yeah? Yeah. People who live a very hectic life, working life, yeah? For sure. And we can't go to the gym and do weights five times a week or six times a week like a bodybuilder, right? Um, so really what is feasible, what is practical, what's pragmatic, what's the right thing to do is mm -hmm. maybe three times a week, if, we, if that. So what I wanted you to do, okay, is I wanted you to present a series of videos yeah. of a three-day split. Today being the first day, the push day. Can you explain how? What is a three-day split, um, and what is a push day? Let's do it. First of all, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you guys are doing well. Mm. So I appreciate you getting me on the channel. Mm. And uh, so, Muhammad Hijab, obviously, as you just mentioned, uh, you want to basically present to the people a nice routine for the busy man, who's whatever very hectic lifestyle, to train three times a week. And the split usually that works really well is a push, pull. Sorry, it's a leg day first, then you do a push day, and then you do a pull day. That's the ideal way. So to, in today's video, we're going through a push day. A push day consists of your chest, shoulders, and triceps. So these are all the muscles that usually work best, or the muscles contracted the most when you're pressing, so you're pushing, as you call it. Now, yeah, the, the real question is, when you have um, a gargantuan, you know, beast from the Middle East, yeah. uh, like me. Thank you, sir. Uh, will you be able to actually give me something that will satisfy me, that will push me through the paces, and which will um, actually uh, make me feel like I've done a workout? Let's find out. <laughs> Guys, remember the most crucial part, warming up the rotator cuffs before you start lifting heavy. So, very simple, get the cables. Don't do it with dumbbells, it's wrong. With dumbbells, when you get to here, there's no more tension on that rotator cuff muscle. So do it with cables. That lateral force that's pulling that way is what you want for the rotator cuff muscles to thoroughly warm up. So do about 20 reps, two sets on each side, and you're good to go. All right guys, one more warm up set. You can record as well if you want. One more warm up set. I'm just showing the form here quickly. So there's a few pointers that you gotta take care of as I showed in his shot. But basically, eyes aligned with the bar, arch on the lower back, shoulders pinched into the bar, <laughs> shoulders pinched into the bar, and it's just a warm up set, so let's get it. All right, we had some technical diff difficulties. We had to change camera. All right, bro, first working set, 100 kilos. Let's get it. So he's using chalk for the first time. Let's see if he thinks it has any difference. Okay, Mohammed, one thing, finish your set though, but you're too far up the bench, yeah? You want to be eyes in line with the bar. Do you know you... Go on. Too tall. Let me tell you, no, <laughs> do you know when I come a bit closer? Mashallah, he's just, he's just talking and benching 100 kilos. Mashallah. When I come closer to the bar, yeah. sometimes when I'm here, yeah. unless I'm here, yeah. yeah. Okay, Don't worry, you're good. Moving, yeah. Sometimes the bar gets in the way of these things. That's, so that's why you should be this way. And then when you lift off, you come forward with the bar. Trust me, that's the whole point of when I say eyes in line with the bar. Yeah, that's the whole point. Right. This is our second working set, bro. So, nothing crazy. 120. Let's go for like five to eight minutes, yeah? Oh. 
How you feeling, bro? Feeling good? Mashallah, a strong set there on 120. Come on. <laughs> so, uh, Mashallah, he did the 120 very comfortably. So, added on another 10. But again, as I said, overloading the muscle, progressive overload, going a bit heavier. I think you've got five reps in you, bro. Yeah, maybe less, because this is a bit heavy. Yeah? yeah? I'll say three to five reps. I'm going to go for about three. Um, shoulder injury, but no excuses, yeah? But, Inshallah, let's get it, man. Time for the back offset. It feels like, well, seriously, it feels like this is training, you know. Alhamdulillah, bro. definitely training. Come on, bro, let's get it. So we're going to go now down to 100 kilos, yes. and we're just going to rep it out to failure. Predictions, what do you think you're going to get? How many reps? I'm not good with this kind of thing. You're not sure? So at least 20, 25. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So go. what it is, I was just telling I was just turning silver back right here, yeah? <laughs> I look at my heart rate quite often yep. in the gym. Whether I'm doing cardio, shadow box, whatever I'm doing. So right now my heart rate is quite high, it's about 132, 130. Yep. Okay, and that's a bit too high to continue doing a, rep, a, um, a new set. Yep. So what I would do, there's a happy medium, it's a Goldilocks zone. Yep. It's not too low, so my resting heart rate is like say 77, 80, yeah? Yep. Which is quite high for resting heart rate, but I won't wait for it to go to that. But I'm not going to do it like this either, in, in, in weights. Yeah. So what I'll do, ideally, is I'll go down to about 100. When it's about 100, I think that's the, the Goldilocks zone. You're still in the working zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right, guys, comment how many reps he's going to get. Inshallah, if you can get, bro. So I'm going to say to you, yeah, try eight, minimum eight. Minimum eight, but go to failure. So I'm only going to touch the bar when I see you're about to basically fail. Okay? It's recording, bro, yeah? Take your time, get mad, get mad. Yeah. If you mentally lift the weight before you physically lift it, it's enough. Three, two, one, let's go. Get on. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, keep going. Eight, mashallah, let's work. Nine, let's go, finish it, finish it. One other one, knock out, press. Come on, that's a little breath. Come on, almost, almost got 11. Oh, we said more than eight, so mashallah, well done, bro. All right, guys, I'm gonna try for like 10 to 12. Let's see what we can do. Woo! Smell that. All right. Let's do this. Thank you. 
Alright guys, so second exercise on this push day, we're moving on to incline dumbbell press. Again, four working sets now, we're already warm, so don't really need to warm up. Rep range. Alright, so show us the form here, yeah? Okay, so this one, you don't have to worry too much about the path of the weight, so it's just punching it straight up in the air. But be sure to just punch it straight and then slowly bring it together, but don't bring it together right from the beginning because the can have a tendency to collapse on the case. I'm sure you've seen the gym fails. Alright. Full range of motion. Eleven. It's eleven, yeah? That's ten, I think. Oh, okay. I was counting it different, bro. <laughs> See, that's, now that noise that he just made is what makes everyone angry in the gym. <laughs> Muhammad's got long arms, so for you it's more difficult. More range of motion, the weight has to travel further. The weight's about to touch the ceiling. <laughs> Don't uh, flay your elbows out too wide, yeah? So you want your elbows to be about 45 degrees. So you're flared out a bit too much. Try and bring the elbows in. Come on. Keep going, bro. Keep working. Keep working. Come on. Strong. Come on, strong, strong, strong. Work. Come on. Come on. Leave it at that. Good man. Mashallah. Good job. I wasn't counting, so good job. I don't know what you've done. Huh? Alright, Muhammad just told me a hadith about Haya. So the motivation is gone here. I better get more than. What did I get in the last set? 12 as well? I think so, yeah. I better get more than 12. If you get this, then I'll be impressed. <clears throat> I better get more than 12. After what I just heard, maybe we'll drop it later on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Six, seven, eight. Good, good. And this is ten, right? Yep. Good. Two more. Two more. I have to get twelve. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't stall, don't stall. Go. Push it, just push it. This is this is uh, determination here. That, 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 that set there spoke a lot about your character, your fortitude. Come what on, kind of a the man the, the silverback is. Yeah. So Muhammad just asked, why don't we do dumbbell flights here? I'm not gonna say it's an incorrect exercise, however, when you're doing dumbbell flights, when you're late, so imagine I'm laying down, I'm contracting the weight, bringing it in. It's all working, it's all low on the muscle, but when we get to here, the contraction dies because now it's just gravity pushing down towards you. So the best thing to do is go on the cable. That has a lateral force pulling your arms apart. So even when you're here, there's contraction pulling your, ch pulling your chest muscle this way and you're fighting it like this. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, tell us what you're doing first. So moving on to cable flies. Yeah. As I mentioned earlier, best way to contract the muscle. Where are you putting this thing? Asking, you yeah. see this thing? Yeah. Where are you so, putting it? Various versions you can do. Yeah. High to low. Okay. Of course, put it high. Right. Once more, lower chest. Right. Put it in line with your shoulders. Yeah. You fly in front of you, kind of overall pick the better. Okay. And then we can do low to high. Okay. The upper chest. All right. So what are we doing now? We want it to go overall. So okay. We're lunge forward, and we're going to fly in front of us. And what kind of weight are we using here? Not too heavy, but you right. really want to rep it out. So 16 to 20 reps. Oh, okay. Very, okay. Okay. Right. Let's get to work. Good form. So, okay, this is important now. The form here, yeah. how are you doing this? So, you don't bring your shoulders forward. If you bring your shoulders forward, you're going to work your anterior delt too much. All right. Shoulders back, chest back. Open up your pecs. Squeeze. Open up all the way. Squeeze. I don't know if you can see my chest working, but it's working. Just to show you guys, if you can do like this, it's lower chest. Okay, and if you can do low to high, so we're just doing overall pick development. Right, that's good lighting, bro. Looking like a unit. Yeah, that's good lighting here. So, hands in front of you, start position, hands in front of you. There you go. Shoulders back, good posture. Let's go. Squeeze the chest together. So, mind to muscle. Don't think about any other muscle in your body except your pecs. Of course, you're going to feel it in the front of your shoulders. 
a little bit on your biceps, just more of like a, a pull. But ultimately just focus on your chest. Come on, good. Nice and wide, nice and wide. Squeeze the chest muscles. Keep working. Keep working bro, come on. Give me four more. Okay, let's go. Yep. Yep. Good man. Nice. It's good. Alhamdulillah, look at that beast, bro. Yeah? Uh, Mohammed, moving on. Next exercise, bro. Tell him what we're doing. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold your horses. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd just jump in. <laughs> so we're supersetting, yeah? Uh, yeah. So, so this is me telling them what you told me. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay, Shoulder press. Yep. And uh, then we're going to do a super set with the heavies uh, kind of things here. What are they called? Lateral raises. Lateral raises, yeah. Lateral raises, yeah. So and jump straight onto it. Straight right? away. Benefits are time efficient, yeah, yeah. get crazy pump. Yeah. And um, again, we're going for a high rep range. Now, what's, what are we looking at here? So, we've got two 20s on each side there. Let's go for about 10 reps okay. minimum. 10, 10, 10 and above. And then match it. 10 and above. Yeah. Right, let's go, bro. Marshall, I'm moving. Come on. Two, you got it. Three, four, strong. Five, six, seven. Come on. Eight, nine, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. <laughs> it's fatiguing, yeah? yeah? Right, straight away, bro. So with this one, dumbbells by your side and just raise them. There we go, keep going. Very nice. Very nice. Good man, keep going. Keep going. Let's go, match it, yeah? 10 reps at least. Strong. Remember the breathing, yeah? Come on. Good man, mashallah, smooth, bro. Smooth. All right, keep it rolling. Right, let's go. Magic number. What was that? 16. Oh, I was, I was about to say, man, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Cool. Fantastic, fantastic, brilliant. You can never have big enough lap ahead. Let's do it, man. Finish strong. Fatigue. It's all in the mind. Bismillah. Beautiful, beautiful. Come on, boy. Come on. One more. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh. No, wait, have, have a breath. Let's do it. Just one more. One more. Come on. Usually I wouldn't do this. Okay, you ready? No, but let's do it. Because you said let's do it. Okay, let's do it. I better not fail. Because when you start something, you have to finish it. That's true. Come on. That's true. Let's go. Let's go. Push up. Just one. That's the one. You do another one for. Oh, okay. There you have it. There you have it. See? I think the people are more interested in this than I This is good, man. This is. This is the secret. The secret is hard work. Come on. Breathe in, breathe in. Good, yeah? Definitely. All right, ready. All right, guys. So that's most of the shoulders now. We did the that superset did the anterior and the lateral head. Last part of the shoulder is the rear delt. So the shoulders made up of three muscles: anterior, lateral, rear. You want to hit the rear now. I was telling Muhammad about balance. You want to have balance. You can't have one area. So what are we going to do? Face pulls. Great exercise. Body straight up. What you want to do? You want to pull the ropes towards your forehead or between your eyes, and you're also pulling off the part, keeping your elbows up. 
this. Focus, mind to muscle on the back of the shoulder, nothing else. Squeeze, stretch, squeeze. There is another variation where you go here, above the hip. That works for the rotator cuff as well. Do either one, it doesn't matter. I'll just stick to this one for now. Squeeze and hold for a second. Squeeze. Again, 16 to 20 reps. Going heavier and heavier on every side. Does this work a bit of your back as well, bro? Yeah, of course. So it works to push it off the back and strengthen it. But if you have back to muscle on the radial, it's a great way. Your turn. You're up. Yeah. Let's go, bro. I'm going to go lighter. Only because I'm done. Go one lighter. Go 17 and a half. Yep. Yeah. Face this way. The lying's going to be good. Next shot, do it this way. Come. Hold it this way. So let's show them the grip. You want to hold it like this. Towards me. Face me. Come towards me. This way, this way. Yeah, all right. Elbows up, step, step back more, step back, step back, step back. You got long arms, bro. <laughs> straighten, straighten up your arms. Now pull. There you go. So you want to focus on the muscle right here. Do you feel it? Good man, that's it. Mind to muscle, bro. Keep your elbows up, keep your elbows up. Pull your hands apart as well, yeah? Hold it for a split second. Let's go. Speed up the tempo a little bit, let's go. There you go. But hold it, elbows up, don't let the elbows drop. There you go. There you go. Uh, raise your elbows, bro. Raise them. Raise them. There we go. That's what I want to see. Squeeze it. Keep it up at all times. Don't let it drop. Keep it up. Keep it up as you're going back. Keep up as you're going back as well. Good man. Sit. Good. Alright, so I was just mentioning earlier. Keep your elbows up. So if you watch me, you can see the elbows stay nice and high. Hold for a second and then slowly bring it back. Explosive. Bring it back. Since this is an isolation exercise, yeah. so right? first of all, let me know final exercise. Yeah. So that's chest done, shoulders done, final push exercise, and of course, triceps. I don't like to use the straight bar because I feel like it's a bit bad on the wrist. It's not really ideal for your wrist. Right. So with this slightly EZ bar, your wrist is at a slight angle, it feels a lot more natural and comfortable. Yeah. So again, with triceps, overload the muscle, go heavier on every set. Maintain like a 16 to 20 rep range. Most important thing when doing this, don't move your elbows. So look, a lot of people when they do this, yeah, right. they know elbows move when they do this. Ah, I see. What that's doing is creating momentum. Okay? That's not creating momentum. And you're going to do a lot more taking the tension away from your Yeah, you're almost working your abs a little bit as well, right? Sort of. You, you can say you almost shoulder as well. Over, okay? Yeah. So what you can do is elbows take up by your side. Here. Beautiful. Oh. Okay. Do not move the elbows. Imagine if you had a training partner, would it be good for them to stabilize you from the back? You said, could they stabilize yeah. you? Yeah. Would that, would that be a benefit? Yeah. Cool. So we want to do 16, 20 reps and do about 3 to 4 working sets. Again, the most important thing, mind to muscle guys, don't think about any other muscle in your body, just literally live in your triceps. It's a good therapy session, eh? <laughs> Get it, bro, you're set. Alright, let's go. It's good lighting as well. Your arm. You say that. Huh? Literally, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> live in the muscle. Right, let's go, bro. So step forward a little bit. Forward, 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 sorry, forward, forward. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So start position there. Now do not move your elbows. You see your hands, yeah? Your fingers are over it. I want you to get your hand over the bar. Get, move your hand over the bar. So move it. Yeah, get over it. There you go. Keep the bar in the palm of your hand. MashaAllah, there we go. So you're kind of working the overall tricep development. You have the short head and you have the long head. We're pretty much hitting both. There's different ways of hitting the short head and the long head. We can get to that in another video, but for now, this is more than sufficient. Uh, I would say the main for me would be dips or close grip bench. Anything compound. Compound, exactly. This is more for like accessory work, finishing off a session. Nice, bro. 16 to 20. Just give me two more. Last one. 
Good man, relax. So how do you think that went? Alhamdulillah, solid session my bro. Really good, you tell me, how was I, it for It you? was intense, I have yeah. to be completely honest with you, as, especially as it progressed. Yeah. You know, I thought I was done after the bench press. I thought we were going to go home after To that be one. honest, guys, yeah, when yeah. it came to the bench press, you smashed it. Like, the 120, you were moving it. Easier than me. You, as you said, what was your biggest concern or your biggest weakness? As, yeah. If you stamina. want to call it, it's stamina. Endurance. If it, if it wasn't for endurance, bro, you would have beasted that session so much better. Well, you know, I'm coming back after Still a long right. injury. Keep, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Let's yeah. This way, this way, this way. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I'm coming back after the, the pulmonary embolism, the injury that I had, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. It wasn't, you know, a, a disease. But alhamdulillah, with people like you, I can get back quickly. Alhamdulillah man, stay consistent with it and inshallah many more. So what's next to come? We're going to do a leg day next. Well that's what's, that's what's going to be a real struggle that's for me. <laughs> taller guy, mashallah, six foot six. So the taller you are, it is harder. You have to move the weight more. Mm. It's all mechanics. But yes. yeah, leg day, then a pull day as well. So, well with yeah, the man. guidance of the big man. You're the you big know. man bro, mashallah. I was talking about me, I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> too, much I see, too much bats. <laughs> I'll see you guys later inshallah.